Ash density within expectations. No major oracle responses nearby. You are to collect the items needed for a bias factor inhibitor. If there are no questions, please commence. Let's move. Ein's in trouble, huh? Yeah. Let's get what we need and hurry back to base. Yes. I was going out on missions a lot more than usual recently. I brought it up, but he said he was fine. So I left it at that. If I'd only tried to talk with him more. We said we wouldn't say anything about his personal missions. It isn't your fault, Amy. But still... His bias factor activity was 30 times higher than a normal God Eater. Typically, going up that high means turning into an origami. When I think about it, he's a big ball of mysteries. First gen was a seriously long time ago. How can he still be around? Hmm. Just one item left to pick up. Let's hurry. You found everything we need. Good work out there. Please prepare to... Keith, uh, please go ahead. Hugo, I found some evidence. I see. Hmm? What's going on? Amy, gather everyone when we get back. I have an announcement. Ah, understood. I'll put the word out right away. So, everyone's here? I have an announcement to make. Listen up. Up until today, we've been working alongside Ayn, striving to establish new endeavors. Everyone here has received help from Ayn in some form. That includes me. But today, I learned Ayn is one of the three sages of the Calamity, Soma Shiksal. One of the three sages? You mean the ones who created the Ashlands? Huh? How is that possible? Uh. Are you certain? Ayn has always refused to undergo medical checks aboard the ship. Of course, he doesn't belong to our port, and I'd never force him. But it was an emergency, so we performed tests to find the cause of his illness. And we found something. Ayn's body is capable of producing P73 bias factor internally. It's a characteristic scene only in the first God Eater, Soma Shiksal. No way. I didn't want to believe it either, so I looked at the results. But the harder I looked, the more it became clear that Ein is in fact Soma Shiksal. If Ein really is Soma Shiksal, what do we do now? Right. None of the three sages of the Calamity have been found since the Ashlands appeared. He would have to be turned over to Gleipnir and the Port Security Council. After that, there would be a trial at the Central Court in Arrowhead. He'd be given the maximum penalty for certain. Are we sure Governor General Gadolin doesn't know about this? Knowing him, it's possible he's been aware of Ayn's identity this whole time. But if this got out, even the Governor General wouldn't be able to protect him. 
But then... We can save that talk for later. Why would Ayn cause the calamity? I don't know the answer. But I know that everything we built together with him wasn't a lie. Let's think of a way to save him. That's good enough for now, right? With the new data on Ayn's body, we found we need some new materials for the inhibitor. If there are no questions, please commence. I found the first one! Hey, way to go! Honestly, I'm relieved we decided to help out Ayn. Johnny? I don't know his past, but Dusty Miller took good care of me. Even if everyone had disagreed, I would want to save him somehow. Yeah. Me too. I want to make sure he survives no matter what. Right. It was a huge shock to hear that he was one of the three sages of the Calamity. But I've worked with him a long time. I think I know him well. That's right. Looks like you have four. Just one item left to pick up. One more left! One more left! Yeah! Let's find it and go home. Roger! You've collected all the items. Good work today. All right, we'll be waiting for you back home. Ayn's <sighs> bias factor activation level has stabilized for now. However, his condition remains extremely grave. We've slowed the encroachment rate, but that's only bought us some time. I see. But we did learn a few important things. Normally, God Eaters reach their limit because they lose control. But in this case, the activation of his oracle cells can't be slowed down. It's like they have a mind of their own and are trying to eat him. I know what's going on. I know about the origami inside Ayn. Fim, what do you know about this? The origami inside Ayn has been crying for a long time. It's in a hurry because it wants to eat. Hmm. If Fim is right and Ayn's oracle cells are hastening the corrosion, then we probably have even less time than we thought we did. Listen, we have one suggestion. If things continue as they are, then Ayn will likely never wake up again. But his resonance area may be a path that leads to his conscious mind. Knowing him, he had to have been aware of the state his body was in. So I think we should go straight to the source to find a solution. How about it? I thought you'd say that. I've talked to Keith about prepping the connection. The Observee this time will be the very first God Eater. Anything could happen in his resonance area. Be sure to take care. Resonance area link established. All instruments are green. The area is moderately warped. Expect multiple memory nodes. It's a solo operation this time. Good luck in there. Go away! What is a human doing here? Get out of here now! I told you to go away! I need to hurry. Something I have to do. If 
you interfere, you'll regret it. Memory node responses appearing rapidly. Be careful. Memory node responses are clear. Resonance area warp has decreased. Are there any changes? You're a weird human. You plan to keep going on? Whatever. I don't care. came this far. This place. This is where Soma was born. Embedding the bias factor in a mature host is nigh impossible. The only solid results we've seen are with prenatal injection. Even then, it's only had limited success with the rats. We've tested enough rats. I think it's past time we move into human trials. Well past. The P-73 bias factor has incredible potential, but we've only scratched the surface. I don't think we're ready. Not even close. The real question is how we can afford to wait any longer. People are dying every day by the thousands to the origami menace. You wouldn't adapt, but Johannes, what about my... Our son, he could take to it. He could. You will bring joy to this world. My, my darling boy, my precious little boy. You will shield them from the origami. You will save them. Putting your enemy inside of yourself. Humans are very interesting. And so, Soma and I were born together in that moment. A purpose, Soma. You have a purpose. You shall purge this world of those beasts. You will see them all burn and fall. His basal cell metabolism is extraordinary. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. That's impossible. I put eight stitches in his wound yesterday. He can't be healed already. He... He can't be human! So was a pretty strange one, too. He could have just eaten all the people he didn't like. And when he wouldn't do it, I wanted to do it for him. But I... I couldn't do anything at all. Connection established. Link strength is fluctuating, but within parameters. All right. Good luck in there. You're back again, strange human. As long as you don't interfere, I don't care. Go ahead and look. This is the first time we've met in person, isn't it? Costa Heidenstam, head of transmission engineering research. We're developing transmission technology using bias fields. I'm Josiah Kwan, a specialist in nanomachines. I owe much to your father, and I'm very glad to meet you. I've heard a lot about both of you from the director of the Far East Branch. Oh, <laughs> well, that's an honor. That's when Soma met them. I've seen your theory on generating auto-regressive networks using retro-oracle cells. An old man like me would never have conceived of it. Your insight is marvelous. So what did you want? The proposed Ragnarok project. We'd like you to help realize it. 
A centrally controlled network of God Ark nanomachines operated through a bias field. Aragami touching it would be devoured by the altering of the nanomachine's bias tendency. That's the basic idea of the Ragnarok project, right? The project needs an AI, a central core, to operate the nanomachines. We can't create it without your brilliant mind, Dr. Schicksel. You think too highly of me. Dr. Schicksel, can you say humanity is truly living right now? We've been fodder for Aragami for 30 years. I want to put an end to that. I want to lead humanity to a new life. <laughs> so I joined the project. The resonance wave CI ratio is too low. We absolutely must have higher oscillations. We'll place autonomous amplifiers at each relay station. I'll create a model. I'd heard the rumors, but this far exceeds what I imagined. What do you mean? <laughs> Bringing you aboard was the right choice. Right, Dr. Heidenstam? Someone really seemed happy for once. Dr. Heidenstam? Dr. Shiksal, we finally reached this stage. If the next simulation goes well, we can finally proceed to testing. Yeah, but the conditions need to be just right. We need time to evaluate the results. <laughs> you're brilliant, Dr. Shiksal, but you're also very cautious. <laughs> it's what he does best. Go ahead. Investigate until you're satisfied. They were only a step away. You'll find all the specifics in the written report. But to summarize the situation, the analysis of the simulation confirms a major vulnerability in the system. If it were to get out of control during a test run, it could cause a global catastrophe with devastating consequences. We need to postpone the testing. Hmm. How long do you estimate the delay would be? Well, we're closely examining everything right now. It's already clear that core components will need to be redesigned and installed. All in all, we're looking at a delay of at least 24 months, including verification, and maybe up to four years. Dr. Schicksel, objectively speaking, I can see no clear flaw in the logic of your report. However, the problem you're describing here would only occur if the central core had human-level intelligence. Are you saying that the core you led the development for is capable of such a... fantastic thing? It's not conclusive. I'm only saying it's a possibility. <laughs> so you're suggesting we delay the project for an unknown possibility? That's ridiculous. Dr. Kwan, we should perform the test as scheduled. That's... that's crazy. You're willing to ignore the danger and still go ahead with the test? <laughs> yes, yes. You've always seemed terribly afraid it would fail, Dr. Schicksel. Dr. Heidenstam, that's going too far. I, for one, understand Dr. Schicksel's concerns all too well. Yet... We are not in a position to control every little pebble we find on the side of the road. We simply have to keep forging ahead. You, of all people, are well aware of how much funding has gone into this project. 
And think of all the people working tirelessly in R&D. We can't let them down. We're, in essence, responsible for their lives. Don't you understand? Their lives would be under more immediate threat if the test failed. All right. All right, Dr. Shiksol. I can see you simply want to postpone the test no matter what. With that in mind, all further discussion will take place between myself and Dr. Heidenstab. Dr. Kwan! Look, if we can deal with the issues, then you'll have no objections. Isn't that right, Dr. Shiksal? Yes. Then we'll work together to prepare a proposal. And soon. Please just wait for us to get in touch with you. you before. There's something very important I have to do quickly. I will eat Soma to save him. Vital signs are normal. Resonance area connection established. The area is heavily warped, so please use all due caution. All right, please begin. These are his memories of that day. Why? Dr. Kwan and Dr. Heidenstam haven't contacted me in a week now. What could be going on? something that's good about him. Someone! Answer me! Do. 
help me. Run, now! Come on, I'll play with you some more. It was always like that. I was with Soma, but I could never do anything. That time was the same. But now, for a little while, if I'm quick, I can eat Soma to save him. This will be your fourth connection to Ein's resonance area. The warp gets greater as you go deeper, so please take care. If there are no questions, please commence. Dr. Kwan and Dr. Heidenstam still haven't sent any messages. I see. As you thought, they must have rushed to stop the test. It's the only possible answer. What about the area around HQ? How was it? The black mist originated there and spread across a roughly 300 mile radius. There are differences in density, but a human couldn't last 10 minutes anywhere inside. No survivors were found within 100 miles of HQ. Anyone close was doomed. Understood. For now, please get some rest. About the black mist seen at HQ. The same phenomenon was seen at major bases throughout Europe as well. All of them are more or less devastated. I see. If it wasn't only Europe, but other branches around the world too, then... I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Thank you for your report. Do you read me? This is the Far East Branch. Do you read, Dr. Schicksel? Huh? This is Lindo Amamiya at the Far East Branch. Ah, damn it. There's too much interference. I can't hear a thing. Hello, I read you. This is Soma. Oh, I finally got through to you. Lindo, is that you? <laughs> hey, come on, man. Don't sob into my ear like that. Anyway, I'm glad to hear you're alive. Lindo, tell me, what's the status of the Far East? Hmm? It's basically what you're imagining. That weird mist came out of nowhere and covered the whole branch in 30 minutes. Ugh. But are you all okay? Yeah, I guess. We're all alive anyway. 
I'm sorry. This... This whole terrible mess... I am responsible for all of it. I see. Listen, Soma. I'll keep everyone I can reach safe. I promise. Got that? So keep living. Follow the path you need to. Solve this problem any way you can. Do you understand? Ah, huh. oh, crap. This is the last line still connected. But it looks like we're about out of time. All right. Then I'll leave the Far East in your hands. And I promise, I'll find a way to deal with this situation, somehow. Yeah, you do that, Dr. Schicksel. Once it's all done, we'll get a drink. See you, friend. Take care of yourself. forward, Soma called himself Ein instead. He said he'd keep being Ein until he could resolve the calamity. Ugh. Oh no. Looks like time is running out quickly. I really need to hurry. I have to admit that talking with you has been less boring than I thought it would be. But this is the last and only chance I'll get to do something for Soma's sake. I really can't fail him now. We've pinpointed the deepest part of Ein's resonance area with the radar. We found it, but the situation is more difficult than we thought. What's the problem exactly? Hmm. <laughs> well, the biggest is probably how deep Ein's resonance area is. The deeper you want to connect, the higher the resonance ability has to be. That's why we've been using the boss and having an easy time connecting. But we'll need far greater resonance ability to reach that far into Ein. That's a pretty tall order. On top of that, his resonance area already has a pretty heavy warp in it. I'd expect lots of powerful memory nodes. Going in solo would be crazy. Huh. A way to raise resonance ability? It's really all genetic. Hmm. Wait a second. Yes. And that could... You got something, Keith? Give me just a minute. Sorry for the delay. I found it. I found a way to get into a really deep resonance area. In short, we can use the same principle as a multi-stage rocket. A rocket? Yeah. You load up tons of propellant to send it as high as you can, right? You drop the tanks as you get higher, making it lighter so it can go up more. If the boss is the rocket's body, everyone else would be the propellant tanks. So, in other words, we add our resonance ability to provide a lot more oomph. It looks good enough on paper, but will it really work that easily? Everyone developed a high sync rate through core engage training, right? Sync rate determines how far resonance characteristics can be shared. It also functions as a scale. So if we can synchronize with your resonance and adjust the vector it moves along... We might have enough resonance ability to reach deep into Ein's mind, huh? Precisely! Napkin math says that the eight of us have enough power to just barely make it. Every one of us will need to give our all. And given Ein's condition, this will be our first and last shot. We can do this, right? 
I'll inform everyone of what we'll be doing for this mission. We're gonna get in there and find Ein. Resonance area link established. Vitals all normal, instruments all green. Target is the deepest part of the resonance area. Begin phase one. Good luck to you, everyone. Okay, straight off the back with a flippin' lion. Oh really, we wanna That's save him. Child's voice you were talking about? Yep, creepy, Looks huh? Like, we're not welcome. like I couldn't believe it that he was here. Why do you wanna kill him? You're killing him though. Let's push through. You're killing him though. Don't you understand? <laughs> Loser. Phase one complete. Good work, everyone. Disconnecting Ricardo, Claire, and Keith from main group. Oh! What was it? Its tone was so cornered. Yeah. I think we'll meet its owner when we reach our target. I'll monitor the connection when I get back. Boss, take care of Ein. And I also just realized that I didn't change their uh, abilities and stuff, so I don't know what elements the rest of the others will be. Oops. So we're going to be switching part. That's cool! Oh, can I see this? Resonance area link is unstable, but still intact. Continuing the mission and initiating phase two. Okay, turns out we're fighting another thing. What is it? Monkey? Nope, not dragon. Ever since Sona was a child, I could never do anything for him. That's... Now, I finally have a chance to act. This is the only chance I have. I swear to you, I am going to eat Soma! This is so strong. I feel like it'll crush me. But we have to do this. Why do you want to eat so? <laughs> Great work on phase two, team. Disconnecting Hugo, Zeke, and Lulu from main group. <sighs> That's as far as we go. That voice sounded so pained. Yeah. It made me reluctant to fight. But we can't surrender here. The only way through is forward. The rest is up to our expert. Please, save Ein for us. What, is it controlling you or something? Because, yes, it sounds pain, but it wants to eat Ein. Uh, well, Soma. Stop calling him Ein. His name is Soma. Say it right. Soma. Soma. Or Sona. Soma. Come on. So ma, say that correctly. God damn. I'm 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 so fake. The resonance name. area connection is still live somehow. The mission can continue. Please initiate phase three. What do you mean the mission can't continue? Oh the wolf! Like we're really not welcome here. I don't. I'm not gonna back down now. Let's go. Yeah, uh, I'll fight you. I don't fucking care, loser. Phase three complete. Route to the target has been secured. Phew. We actually made it somehow. Disconnecting Neil and Fiend from main group. Unfortunately, we won't be able to monitor the status any further in. We're praying for your safety. Take care in there. Okay, I'm going alone. 
You can do it. Save Ein for us. Mommy, we're counting on you. Names not Ein. <laughs> so, ma, did you, didn't I tell you what I learned in the Philippine thing? His name is Soma. Soma, Soma, Soma. He changed his name to Ein so we didn't get it figured out. Well, guess what? We know that he's Soma now. So, yeah, and we learned that it's Soma. It's not. It's not. It's not truly his his fault. you are I told you I won't let you interfere I won't let you hurt Soma anymore I'll keep Soma safe from you don't worry our guest isn't here to cause me pain well why did you come here then Save him, then you're like me. Since the calamity, Soma's always been alone. No one came to help him. I've been with Soma since he was little, but I could never do anything for him. Hmm. But finally, I've become able to do things for Soma. That wide area and gauge you performed with Feem. It woke up the Aragami inside of me, giving it temporary awareness. Yes, I can only do things for Soma temporarily. Not much longer. Soon I will have to sleep again. I have to eat Soma and turn him into an Aragami before that happens. Okay, the reason I have my mic off is because, you know, uh, first of all, no, that, that shit makes no sense. I thought you were going to be a good friend. Oh no, I want to live, so I better eat you and uh, live through your body because you're an evil brat. Sorry, that's what I'm getting from this. You're an evil brat. I hate you. Go to hell. Soma has been suffering ever since the day the calamity happened. Yeah, and you eating him and turning him into an origami to kill all of his friends and allies is definitely a way to do it. I caused so many lives to be lost. My mistake ruined the whole world. Oh, okay, technically uh, you're taking Soma's brain, so no, um, it's technically those other two idiots that just that did it when Soma said no, and they went to do it. So it's technically not your fault. Right, Soma? You wanted to run away, didn't you? Okay, I understand you want to kill him. Running away is 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 basically killing him. But how's turning him into an origami a good idea? He's in our base. If he turns to an origami, people will die. Yeah, that's right. I am guilty of causing the calamity. I constantly wanted to run from that. Can we change that name to Soma now? Since Soma wants to run away, I want to set him free. I thought if I ate Soma and turned him into an origami, he'd be free from pain. And instead he can kill everyone else that's in the ship. <laughs> really? I guess I don't understand the things you humans say. Hang in there, Soma. I'll be done eating you soon. Can we stop this? Why we let... <laughs> Well, I'm going to be done eating you now. Uh, uh, I don't want someone to die. Again, it's not his fault. Two people literally took over his uh, his thing that he created and activated it when he said, No, don't. So, yeah. You won't have to hurt anymore. Uh, 
Lightning, get your blade out and stop this. You have no choice. No. I won't run anymore. Good job. Uh, why? Never run away from living. An old friend said that to me once. Was that, uh, oh, forgot his name. He was on the phone earlier. Oh. What does that mean? like you said the same. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, didn't I? I see. Nobody was trying to save Soma. No one was there to save Soma's soul. I thought I would have to do it. But Soma, you aren't alone anymore, are you? All right. In that case, I'll stop eating you now. All right, how is this going to get fucked up? Because how is this? All right, that's good. Good, good little Soma. Good little Soma. Good little origami Soma. How is this going to go bad? Soma, go out and live. I'd be happier if you stayed yourself rather than becoming an origami. I mean, yeah, becoming an origami would be a bad idea because, once again, he's in the ship, and if he turns around and goes there, he'll eat everyone around. <laughs> I'm sorry. I put you through a lot. No, I'm glad we could talk. You're also pretty interesting, for a human. I enjoyed this. Uh-oh. It looks like it's time. You're gonna turn to an origami now. Soma? Or should I call you Ein now? Call him Soma. It's so confusing. Well, either will do, right? Can I choose? Please, take care of your friend from here on. Okay? What are we fighting? Are we fighting you? I'm confused. Thank you. There will be memory nodes up ahead. Let's go. I am going to <laughs> what do we fight next? I was expecting something big. The area is heavily warped. Incoming! Watch what? my back! I, I, I was busy trying to look at the pictures. <gasps> no! Of course he would! Oh, of course he would be in your memories! Oh, of course he would! <laughs> Huh. A little Soma. Interesting. Okay, so we're fighting... Oh, you know the wind thing? You probably do. I don't know where your wind thing looks. Yeah, blue lightning. That's pretty wicked. Um, where's the red ones? Oh, you don't get the red ones yet. I'll get it. Ouch. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna devour you. Lock in that. Devour again. Soma, you haven't gone to your limit break thing. What? Oh yeah, it hits twice. I'm an idiot. Boop. Oh, fuck off. Hey, Soma, have this. Yes. <gasps> what is this? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> it. You were supposed to bear the burden of your sins. I did. But you just wanted to flee from me. Ooh, 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 red light. I did. You have no right to obey us now. That may be true. Even so, I won't run from my sins anymore. It's just as as much as I remember. Things may not look so good, but I'm done running away. I'll bear my sins and keep surviving. That's I good. That promise to ooh, my ooh, friends ooh. fighting in the Far East, and the one who's been inside me all this time. There you are. That one keeps attacking you. I never liked him at all. I don't need to heal anymore. 
What? Are you fucking kidding me? My apologies to Sakai. Oh, I didn't feel any of this. Let's see what you've got. Oh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, that's supposed to hurt. No, it doesn't. Oh my god, really? I think we have infinite. So that's interesting. I hope that's a thing forever. I don't think it makes these certain missions much more easier. Holy shit, Soma, that is insane. This is... Good to be back. Ayn, how are you feeling? I'm just fine. It feels like I was having a long, long dream. Sorry to put you through that, everyone. And let me say something important. Thank you. You in particular went through a lot. For you, maybe. Amy, can you call everyone to the lobby? There are things I need to say. Things I know about the Calamity. Right. I'll do that now. And that's what happened on the day of the Calamity. If you have questions, I'll answer them. Well... This isn't a question, but... It wasn't your fault at all, Ayn. I mean, you tried to stop the others. How can you accept being called one of the three sages of the Calamity? No matter the process, I helped create the technology that started the Ashlands. And out of everyone, it was I who could have stopped the experiment. But in the end, I didn't. That says it all well that's true in part but so Ein, what do you want to do next hmm i want to return to the far east i believe that fixing the ashlands will require contacting people over there but are the people you knew in the far east still alive sorry to be pessimistic but I don't want you to meet disappointment there. It's okay. Thanks for thinking about me. You're right. There's no proof the people in the Far East are alive. I contacted them once right after the Calamity, but the Ashlands cut us off. Still, they aren't the type to die easily. I'm sure they're still alive. I have faith in all of them. So how do you plan to get to the Far East? 
The first thing I'll need are ports, to serve as relay stations along the way. Traversing the Ashlands alone with no route is still far too dangerous after all. Ports would need to be built to help secure a supply line too. So you'd need to construct multiple new ports to get over there? That's right. But crossing to the Far East wouldn't be their sole purpose. Each one would have to be a much-needed home to people living in the area. That's what my vision is. I am partly responsible for the state of the world. I could never cast aside people I meet on my path. It might be an endless process, but I won't waste the life you saved. I see, then. What you're aiming for is pretty clear. And as it stands, we might be headed in the same direction. What do you mean? A port where everyone can live and follow their dreams. That's been our goal. But one port will never be enough. We need to build them everywhere. So, Ein, wouldn't you say our dream is kind of a bridge to your dream? Yeah, it's exactly that. Ein, if you share our dreams here on this ship, then you're a true friend. Right, Fiend? Yeah! If you chase the same dream, you're a friend. You... <laughs> That's how it is. Ein, let's find a new tomorrow. All of us. Yeah, you can count on me. First of all, you need to type this. And B, uh, sorry that I had to edit a few of those other fights. Like I said, they basically, basically, basically had the same attacks that you've already seen. And I had to edit because it was 70 minutes. So yeah. Uh, you didn't miss any cutscenes. I mostly looked for the cutscenes and the conversations and the thingies. And guess what? They are dead. I think they are. Because I don't know where the fuck they are. So I'm a little disappointed in this game. I loved the story though, the story was brilliant, I loved it, especially the god mode at the end, ooh that was brilliant. And I loved the origami, you know, the Edis and stuff like that. And I loved the characters. Do you know what they would, they, they, they need? MORE! Characters. Because God Eater 1 and God Eater 2 has this game beat with that. Especially with Alyssa, being on both of them. That's probably my problem. But no, God Eater 1 and 2 had a lot more characters anyway. Bro, there's no more, I'm pretty sure that's it. Bro, bye bye, that's the end of the game, bye.